Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MCGI. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Not sure I've ever done this one before, but uh, you know, quite a few eyeballs on it. Volume has definitely uh, kicked in over the past few days. You look down here, and uh, you know, pretty pretty established that it's uh, been above average. Uh, but as far as you know, kind of the overall chart is concerned. You know, I'm not trying to be blunt or crass or insensitive or anything like that, but there's really no other way to put it. Uh, you know, you can choose the term gap and trap, pump and dump, but that's essentially what this chart uh, has in has turned into. And you know, when I say pump and dump, I'm not saying that towards the company. I don't know anything about the company. I'm making that statement based on how the price has acted, hence price action. So from a price action perspective, yeah, gap and trap, pump and dump perfectly describes how the price has been acting. My definition of a pump and dump is where a price makes a really nice move, and then within a relatively short amount of time, the price is back to where it started, if not lower. And you know, you go through the history of things, actually a couple of nice moves. Nice move right there, pulled back, and then here is where the very, very nice move happened, all the way up there. And then you know, the next part of the definition within a relatively, part, or relatively short amount of time, and this right here, you know, three days, the price went all the way back down there. And not to you know insult your intelligence, but you look at where the price closed. I mean, and it is literally even slightly below where it was pre from the previous consolidation area. Am I saying the price can never make another move again? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying as far as this price movement was concerned, there just simply wasn't any sort of true power behind it. If there was true power, you know, true power is not just a price goes straight up every single day, but it's at least got to sort of build some sort of higher bases, and the higher base just did not happen this time. If you've heard the term, you know, gap and trap, or maybe you've never heard of it, what is that? Well, again, price closed on, you know, right there, price gapped up right there, and then the price actually ran, and some poor souls actually bought right up there, and then you can see from that point in time, uh, you know, the, the bears have just been in control ever since and back down it's, you know, gone. So once more, these are penny stocks. So I'm not saying that another nice move can never, ever happen. But yeah, as far as the, the, the price movement that occurred with a nice movement up, yeah, turns out there just wasn't any sort of genuine power behind it. Um, but like I said, back to the drawing board, maybe the bulls can put something new together. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.